Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Patrick, and welcome to my guide to rat catchers on Old School RuneScape. If you do this on RuneScape 3, I have a guide for that as well. Link description below. On screen right now is everything you need to prepare yourself as quest. The green text is everything you actually need. The white text explains where to get everything for the Iron Men and also items that I recommend, which are just teleports. This should all be self explanatory, so feel free to pause the video if you want to take a better look at this as I'm going to get into the quest now. This video is brought to you by the awesome members of my Patreon. If you want access to some exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Enjoy the video, everyone. To start the quest, go to Gertrude the Cat Lady in the building west of Verak. Speak to Gertrude and select option 1. Yes, you can ignore any other chat options. Go to the Verak Sewers. Open climb down the manhole. Go a bit north and speak to one of the two women who are sisters. Take out your cat or kitten by dropping it. Then you're going to go find some rats. Get near them. Right click your cat or kitten and choose chase to attempt to catch the rats. You need to catch a total of eight rats and you won't always be successful. Sometimes things get in your way, which is why you need to get as close to them as possible. And sometimes you just fail for whatever reason. You're a lot more likely to fail using a kitten, which is why I recommend it on the item list to take the time to raise a cat. But I know there are some impatient people who are here with a kitten anyways, which I don't blame you since it does take a few hours to raise into a cat. Worst case scenario, if you get too frustrated using a kitten, you can always leave to raise it into a cat, then continue the quest later. When you've caught all eight, your character will say something about going back to sisters, so speak to one of them again. You need one free inventory space to get an item called a rat pole. Also, try to pick up your cat when you're not using it, by the way, so it doesn't become overgrown. You can't use an overgrown cat for this quest. Go to this building near the northwest corner of East Artie. You can get near there using the regular Artie teleport or a skills necklace to fishing guild. You need another free inventory space. Speak to Jimmy Dazzler to receive directions in your inventory and make sure you finish the conversation. Click on the directions in your inventory to read them and select option 1, follow the directions to the house to be taken to another location. I'm going to zoom all the way out so everything can be seen and you may want to do the same. For this next part, you have to make your way around the area to the west side of the property, then all the way north to the back of the house, all while avoiding the guards. When you run past them, you don't want to be too close to them and you don't want to be seen by them. If you get caught, you'll be sent back to the gate at the beginning and try again. First, you're going to run west, then a bit north. There are two guards to watch out for walking around the southwest corner of the garden. The best time to move is when they meet somewhere in the middle to the east of the bridge. For this part, stand on the west side of the hedges. You're going to have to make your way north and get behind the hedges in the northwest corner of the property. There are two guards to watch out for here. I roughly drew out the paths that they take. Ideally, you want them to be on the far ends of those away from you before you move. Hide behind these hedges and wait for the guard to the south to start walking west. As soon as he does that, you can climb up the nearby trellis on the north wall of the building. Once upstairs, you can hide behind the walls to the west and east, but stay to the west in this particular instance. This is a checkpoint, by the way. If you get caught, you'll be sent back to the hedges in the back of the property. 
there are two guards up here. They walk all over, but generally one stays on the west side and the other stays to the east. The guard to the west has to be all the way to the south, and the guard to the east just can't be in the hallway or the balcony. Once you're in the clear, you can run into the room to the west and catch the one rat inside. Make absolutely sure you get this rat before you move on, or else you have to come back here. And you definitely don't want that to happen because you have to work around the guards again. If you can't find the option to get your cat to come to you, you can just hop worlds. You won't be able to close the door, by the way. So if you need to hide, hide behind the wall by the door. You now have to run to the room to the southeast, but that's a pretty far run. The chance of you running straight there probably isn't happening. So what I did was hide out in the other bedroom directly to the east first. Uh, don't worry about getting caught. You can just climb the trellis again to get back to the balcony, then go towards the bedroom to the east instead of the west. The strategy is similar as before, except the guard to the east has to be all the way to the south and the guard to the west just can't be in the hallway or the balcony. This actually might be easier because the entrance from the balcony already puts you halfway down the hallway. Once in the bedroom to the east, you have to hide out in here until the guards are in good position for you to move into a room to the southeast. You can either wait for both guards to be on the balcony at once, which is the best option, or the guard that patrols the west has to be somewhere in that yellow circle to the west, and the guard that patrols the east has to be on the balcony. Those are the only two options that can work, then you can make a run for it. Just one tip, if you've been here for like a good three to five minutes already, I would say, and I mean that pretty literally, and you don't feel like the guards are getting into the position that you want, they might not be in sync with each other. What you can do is hop worlds and hold do you find one where they are in sync you won't really know that though unless you have been waiting for at least a few minutes and i do not recommend to keep hopping worlds hoping you find a good one right away because the chances of that happening are also very low so i think being patient and waiting for the guards to move will be more beneficial But once you made it to room to the southeast, catch the two rats in here, and once again, make absolutely sure that you catch them before moving on. Congratulations, by the way. I know you're still in the building, and the quest definitely isn't over, but there are no more guards to work around beyond this point, which makes it especially important they catch the rats so you don't have to make your way back here. When you've caught the two rats, climb down the ladder. Between this room that you're currently in and the room to the north, there are a total of three rats. Once again, make absolutely sure you catch all three. Uh, assuming you've caught every rat you need to catch for the whole building, when you catch the last one, your character will say something like, I think that just about wraps things up here. To leave this place, you can climb down the trellis to return to Artie, or you can just teleport. You need to go back to Jimmy Dazzler. Speak to Jimmy Dazzler. Go to this area in the southeast corner of Iraq. You can teleport there using a regular Varrock teleport, a Chronicle, or Combat Bracelet to Champions Guild, Skills Necklace to Cooking Guild, or Ring of Wealth to the Grand Exchange. Speak to Hook Nose Jack, who would take some of your items and give you rat poison in exchange.
head to building south of the bar. Climb up the ladder in the next room. Use the rat poison on the four pieces of cheese. There are four rat holes in this room on the walls. Right click a piece of poison cheese to use on each one. There's one rat hole on the west wall. There are two rat holes on the east wall, one closer to the south and the other one closer to the north. The last rat hole is north of the door, just outside of the room. Go back to Hook Nose Shack. Speak to Hook Nose Jack and select option two. Can I help? Head to the apothecary in the building to the west. Speak to Apothecary. I'm leaving out the chat option numbers for this one because they may be different depending on what question you may have done. You're better off reading the options that you're picking. Go back to Hook Don't Jack. By the way, you need at least five pieces of fish now. It can be raw or cooked, but it must be fish, not just any food. So pass by the bank and get that first if you don't already have it on you. Speak to Hook Nose Jack. Head back to the abandoned building and go upstairs. You might want to watch me do his next part before doing it yourself or else you risk losing your cat. But what you're supposed to do is pick up your cat, then click on it from your inventory to use it on a hole in the wall in the corner of the room. It'll put the cat in the room where it will get into a fight with the king rat. Your cat will take damage and you can heal it by using your fish on the same hole. Regardless of what type of fish you have, a single piece of it will heal it back to full HP. So if you don't have a lot, try to use your fish sparingly, only if your cat really needs it, or else you might go through them too fast. You do not want your cat to die. Your cat can lose all its HP, which will result in it dying and you will lose it. At least from what I remember. I don't know if they changed something, but when I did this, it seems like whenever it got hit four times, the cat would escape from the room. Regardless, I would not risk it. And I'm telling you this anyways, because you want to make sure to keep your cat's HP up regardless, because it's not really a good thing if it escapes either, because you would lose your progress with the fight and possibly waste fish you already used. Three hits should be the max, then you should heal. Hopefully you have enough food. When you're ready, use your cat on hold to begin the fight. The fight will end once the rat is gone and your cat is following you again. Go back to Hook Nose Jack. Speak to Hook Nose Jack. Head to Keldegrim. If you at least started the giant dwarf quest, you can easily get there by using the trapdoor shortcut in the northeast corner of the Grand Exchange. If you have not started the giant dwarf quest yet, then go to the area east of Relico, marked by a yellow mark on this map. You can get there using fairy room code DKS, Enchanted Liar, a Relica teleport, or teleport to house if your house is in a Relica. Once you're here, enter a tunnel, then go through the cave entrance to the east. You can right-click the Dwarven Boatman and go to Keldegrim if you start the quest. If it doesn't work, then you just didn't get far enough. I believe you have to speak to him first, select option one twice, then go through a cutscene, and that should get you into Keldegrim. Once at Keldegrim, go to his area on the eastern side of it, shown by a yellow marker on his map. At this point, make sure to have your cat out by dropping it and wear your cat's speed gamlet as well.
speak to Smoking Joe and select option one. I could help you. Use weeds on a pot to get a pot of weeds if you haven't already, then lay it using your tinder box. Use a smoldering pot on the rat hole on the south wall nearby. Before proceeding, make sure your cat is actually near you. Mine disappeared and I had to hop or else it gets to respawn. You're going to use a smoldering pot on the hole again, but this time your cat will speak to you. Just finish that dialogue. After a cutscene, speak to Smoking Joe. Go to this area near the Port Center fish store. You can get there using the pest control grouping teleport, then take the boat to Port Center. Scales necklace to craft and guild Remington teleport. Teleport to house if you're housed in Remington. Explore ring two or higher to teleport to Cabbage Patch. Amulet Glories to drain our village or any teleport to Falador. Speak to the face, climb down the manhole, enter a room to the east, go a bit north to find Felkrash and speak to her. Exit this area and return to the surface. Speak to the face again. Head to Pone of Niche. You can get there using a Pone of Niche teleport. Teleport to house if your house is there, or any teleports to or near Narda or Alcarid, and you can take the magic carpet from there. Use your coins on the money pot by Snake Charmer. Don't worry, you only use one coin, not your whole stack. Continue the dialogue and select options 2, 3, 2, 2, 1, or you can refer to what's right on the screen. You'll receive a music scroll and Snake Charm if you don't already have one. Once again, the options are 2, 3, 2, 2, 1. Return to the area near the face in Port Sarum. At this point, you need to remove any items from both your hand slots.
Click on the snake charm to play it and the screen will come up. You'll see in the top right that says page one of eight. Basically, there are eight notes that have to be selected in a certain order, but only one note is being selected per page. Luckily, the solution is the same for everyone. I'm presenting the solution to you in three different ways. An image of the notes in order, what number they are if you're counting the notes from left to right, and also the actual name of the music notes if you know that one. For the fifth note on the fifth page, you have to raise it by one octave by clicking on that little symbol in the top left. Whatever you select, meaning both the notes and the octave, make sure they turn red to ensure that they're actually selected before moving moving on to the next page. Once you're done, click play at the top of page 8. If you did it right, you should get a cutscene. Climb down the manhole, go to Felkrash in the room to the east, speak to Felkrash and I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell for future videos to come if you haven't already. There are also links in the description below for my Patreon, donation link, Twitter and Discord where you can interact with me. Donations can also be made directly through YouTube now, thanks option near like button below the video. I'll catch you later. Peace.